today i'll talk about modeling of csdr for consecutive reaction now here is a system description consider a macroscopic system where consecutive reaction occur reactant a transform into b at a rate k1 and b further react at a rate k2 to form a third component c so here reaction details a to b the reaction rate constant is k1 and b to c reactor rate constant k2 now here is the the <coughs> csdr so in that csdr inlet volumetric flow rate f0 and density of the inlet uh, fluid so that is rho0 ca0 is the concentration of a at the inlet cb0 is the concentration of component b at the inlet cc0 is the concentration of c at the inlet now in that liquid inside the csdr liquid volume is v density rho c is the again uh, concentration inside the liquid uh, at the csdr uh, of component a cv is the, the concentration of b cc is the uh, concentration of component c now here the reaction is happened one steroid is there so that will mix the liquid uh, uniformly and that reactor area is at and h is the liquid hold up in the height of the liquid inside the csdr and if here that liquid is coming out with fluid volumetric fluid f and that uh, fluid density is rho and ca is the that concentration of a at the outlet cv is the concentration of b at outlet and cc is the concentration of c at the outlet so here uh, the assumption is whatever concentration inside the reactor that is the same concentration uh, same concentration that fluid is coming out now we have to do the modeling first we have to use the component a mass balance so we know that time rate change of moles of a component a inside system is equal to flow flow of moles of a component into the system and flow of moles of a component out of the system so here into the system then out of the system and rate of change of moles and the rate of formation of moles a component from the chemical reaction so time rate of change of a so that is d dt of vca and flow a into the system so fa0 and ca0 fa0 is the volumetric flow rate and ca0 is the that concentration so here if you uh, write the equation uh, write the, the, the unit so d dt uh, that v is volume c is the mole per volume by time so here volume volume will cancel out so this is mole per time and this is also mole per time this is also mole per time now rate of formation of a from the reaction so you know the reaction is a to b to c okay so this is k1 this is k2 now here that rate of formation of a means here there is a no formation of a means negative formation okay means actually consumption is happening here so that is v into minus ra so that is minus k1 ca as it is a first order reaction so all remember this reaction is first order so first order reaction is nothing but minus ra is equal to k1 ca so now if we plug together so finally we will get d of vca by dt is equal to f0 ca0 minus fca minus vk1 ca so we, we just plug all this and we will get this equation so this is the continuity equation for component a so from this equation we can easily change we, we can easily uh, see how that concentration of a changes with time so here this is a component continuity equation of a with units mole of a per unit time the left hand side is the dynamic term the first two term on the right hand side are the co convective term and this term last term is the consumption term similarly if we do the component balance b uh, com component b mass balance so time rate of change of moles of component b inside the system moles of uh, flow of moles of b component into the system flow of moles of b component out of the system rate of formation of moles of b component from the chemical reaction so now here time rate of change of b so d v c b by dt then flow of b into the system f0 cv0 flow of b out of the system fcv 
and the rate of formation of B here, so here A to B to C, so K1 and K2, so here uh, that RB, RB is equal to, so this is plus sign plus K, K1 CA minus, because B is actually consumed, so minus K2 CB, sorry, K, K2 CB, yes. So this is the rate. So rate of formation. Uh, this is a rate, and if we um, if we uh, multiply with v, so that will give mole per times. So now, and, and remember, this is first order, first order reaction. So rate of formation of b from reaction. So that is v dot uh, v into uh, minus r v. So that is v k one c a uh, minus v k two c b. And then. Uh, so here that component continuity equation of b is d v c b by dt is equal to f0 c b minus f c b plus v k1 c a minus v k2 c b now similarly if we do that uh, if, we, if we write c component mass balance so again time rate of change of moles of component c inside the system flow of moles of c component into the system flow of moles c component out of the system rate of formation of mole of c component from the chemical reaction so time rate of change of c is dvc by dt flow of c into the system f0 c c0 flow of c out of the system fcc and rate of formation of c from reaction v minus rc so that is vk2 cv so now if i again plot uh, again if i uh, write all together so that will be uh, dv vcc dt is equal to f0 c c0 minus fcc plus vk2 cv so together if i write so for this component continuity equation for consecutive reaction or modeling of CSTR for consecutive reaction that is first order first order so that will be dvca by dt is equal to so this is f0 ca0 minus fca minus vk1 ca dvcb by dt f0 cv0 minus fcb plus vk1 ca minus vk2 cv and dvcc by dt is equal to f0 cc0 minus fcc plus vk2 cv so if we do the component balance component mass balance so you will get as here three components are there so three mass balance equation will get so this is the modeling of cstr for consecutive reaction that's it thank you